Hello, my name is Maudie Brady. I live and work in Florence, Italy as a sculptor and teach at the Florence Academy of Art. I created Forsaken Sun in 2018. I had been wanting to create a minotaur sculpture of some kind, but I wanted to do um, a sort of different interpretation. Uh, one of the things that had been inspiring me at the time was a movie called The Work. It was a documentary done in 2017 set in the Folsom Prism. It goes quite deep into contemporary psychology that is quite damaged. Um, and obviously that's a huge subject <laughs> to delve into. But I, I kind of saw the Minotaur myth as a kind of... Um, a way to express that damaged male energy. Um, I reinterpreted a bit. Um, I saw King Midas, Minus sorry, as being the, the father figure in the story and the Minotaur as being the denied or rejected son. Um, and I think it kind of speaks to a certain thing in society about damaged male energy that is um, where, you know, absent fathers and the the kind of damage that gets passed on through generations because of because of that denial of the the sun so yeah it's a pretty pretty intense heavy topic but um, I decided to explore it I was inspired also by some of the the movements and poses in the Australian ballet's version of Spartacus that had just been uh, released so between these things I had a lot going on in my head but um the, the figure that I designed is not a, a minotaur as such, but he has a he has a cow skull on his on his head, and he's he's wrestling with this cow skull, and he's trying to remove it from his head. You can see a physical struggle is going on where he's he he's really pulling on the horns of the cow skull, trying to remove it. And I guess the symbology for me is about that minotaur myth, where he's trying to wrestle free from. Um, a legacy that has been passed on to him and in a way he's not kind of even aware of the legacy but he's he's struggling with it he's trying to break free from the legacy of this damaged male energy so yeah that was um, that was the story behind it but these things tend to happen quite organically and a lot of things kind of get mixed into the story as I as I'm making and I try not to control it too much and yeah, Forsaken Sun was, was the result. I hope you enjoy it.